Welcome back, science fans. Nuclear submarines are the undisputed kings of underwater warfare. In this realm where stealth, endurance, and power converge, these behemoths reign supreme. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of these vessels and exploring what happens from the moment they receive a launch command to how their missiles travel through the water up into the air. The 14 Ohio-class subs in the U.S. Navy carry over a thousand nuclear warheads. These subs alone can single-handedly lay waste to much of the world. But they aren't simply weapons of war. Their stealth is a deterrent by providing the U.S. with a formidable means of retaliation. If the U.S.'s land missiles are destroyed in a sneak attack, the submarines would remain operating in the ocean and able to strike back against any enemy. In the shadowy depths of the ocean, a U.S. Navy nuclear submarine glides silently, its presence unknown to the world above. Inside, the crew maintains the ship with daily tasks, unaware that their routine patrol is about to take a turn. The calm is shattered when an encrypted, high-priority message pings on the commander's console. It's a command every submariner is trained to recognize, but fears to receive, an order to prepare for a missile launch. The commander, typically a senior officer with decades of service, feels a surge of adrenaline. His first action is to confirm the authenticity of the order. This isn't just any message. It's an order that will lead to global destruction. He cross-checks the launch codes with those in the submarine's secure safe, a procedure designed to ensure that the order is legitimate and comes directly from the president. A silence falls over the control room as the codes align perfectly. The reality sets in. This is not a drill. The commander steadies himself, fully aware of the magnitude of what comes next. He then addresses the crew. Execute launch sequence. His tone leaves no room for doubt or hesitation. With the order, the crew springs into action, each member acutely aware of their critical role in the sequence. The missile technicians begin the pre-launch checklist, a series of steps to ensure the missiles are ready. In the control room, navigation officers adjust the submarine's position and depth to optimize launch conditions. They must ensure the vessel is perfectly balanced and at the correct depth for the missile tubes to clear the water. The atmosphere is tense, but the sailors' movements have been perfected through countless hours of training. Meanwhile, comms officers watch on secure channels, ready to relay any last-minute commands. These officers are the crucial link between the submarine and higher command, a lifeline to the outside world in these isolated depths. The weapon system officers begin the complex process of arming the missiles. They input the final targeting data into the missile's guidance system, a task requiring utmost precision. The coordinates are double-checked, leaving no room for error in a mission of this gravity. In the missile compartment, engineers flood the tubes to prepare them for the missile's launch. The sound of rushing water fills the space as the tubes equalize with the external ocean pressure. The launch tubes' hatches are then opened and readied. During this time, the commander oversees the entire operation. Every step must be executed perfectly. The second-in-command, his expression somber, is now ready at his station with his own key. With a solemn nod from the commander, the keys are turned, the final irreversible step in the launch sequence. With the key turn, a steam-driven gas generator is activated, creating pressure that propels the missile out of the tube, whereupon surfacing. The missile's first stage rocket motor ignites. As the missile ascends, it must withstand the immense pressure change from water to air without coming apart. Finally, the missile's first stage rocket motor ignites when it reaches the surface. This propels it into the sky, beginning a flight covering vast distances at incredible speeds. As it nears its target, the warheads, multiple in some cases, are deployed each program to strike and destroy a specific city. From the moment of turning the keys to the actual launch of the missiles, the process is incredibly swift, taking less than 15 minutes. Ultimately, the faster the submarine's crew can launch their missiles, the easier it is to avoid being detected and attacked. The US Navy recognized the unparalleled capabilities of these vessels in 1990 when it retired its last diesel submarine, the USS Blueback. 
This strategic shift to an exclusive fleet of nuclear-powered submarines keeps the U.S. at a strategic advantage compared to its enemies. Unlike other major naval powers like China and Russia, which maintain both diesel-electric and nuclear submarines, the U.S. Navy's focus on nuclear power reflects its priorities in global maritime dominance. But what makes nuclear submarines so dominant compared to their diesel-electric counterparts? Let's compare them across several key features. First, looking at endurance, nuclear submarines have a significant edge. Thanks to their nuclear reactors, they can stay submerged for months without surfacing. In contrast, diesel-electric submarines have a much shorter endurance, limited to days or weeks, because they rely on battery power and need to surface for air. In terms of speed, nuclear submarines also lead the race. They can reach speeds up to 30 knots or more, other subs typically max out around 20 knots. When it comes to payload capacity, nuclear subs usually carry a larger payload. Larger payload capacities mean more weapons. Stealth is key for submarines, and nuclear ones are masters at it. Since they can stay underwater for a long time, it's almost like they're invisible. In fact, the main reason they come up isn't for fuel, but because the crew needs food and other supplies. So, as long as they have what they need, Nuclear subs can stay hidden underwater for ages. Next, nuclear subs can dive deeper into the ocean than their diesel counterparts and can operate more than 1,000 feet below the surface. This capability is vital for stealth and evasion since the deeper they are, the harder it is for them to be detected by enemy sonar. In contrast, diesel electric submarines typically can't dive deeper than 600 feet. Nuclear submarines offer incredible flexibility and are capable of lengthy missions across the globe. This is a key part of the U.S. Navy's strength in controlling the world's oceans. These underwater giants are not just about power and stealth, they play a crucial role in keeping peace by deterring threats with their presence beneath the waves. Liked what you saw? Go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Your support means a lot and helps us continue exploring fascinating topics like this. Until the next time.